100% record, Hearts find themselves the target team for everybody in the league, but with great confidence select the same team as won last week. Now, there might be a large foreign element in that side, but for me, the outstanding player so far has been the homebred Scott, Paul Hartley. Russell Anderson has never led out an Aberdeen team that has gone on to win here in the last six seasons. But with only one change in the side which beat Rangers Considine for Muirhead, the Aberdeen captain remains the club's top goalscorer. Signs of the times, an absolutely full house here for an Aberdeen Hearts game. Well, it shows you what's happening. And you know, the transformation in the atmosphere around the Gorgie Road is nothing short of remarkable compared to the last time I was here. It's as if the whole environment has had one huge major heart transplant. Severin again gets good support. Well, that's a beautiful little ball inside to Dempsey, and he couldn't get hold of it properly. Good play by Aberdeen. At the moment, they've been snuffing out the, the, the big men up front, but that falls well. Dead now picks it up. Uh, Scatchel, rather. And there's a snapshot by the big fella, Edgar Jankoskas. Fisas again. Now Webster. Ball played well inside. Jankoskis almost gets it through. This must be a chance. It's a goal. Scatchel comes in again. Good combination work there by Hart. At first, it looked as if they might lose out on that. But Scatchel kept his balance. The equilibrium absolutely perfect to slot that away. Bellier. Uncertainty, Scatchel tries to go for it again. That'll be a corner kick. Well, Scatchel, Rudy Scatchel is always there and thereabouts. It'll be the end swinger. Who just touched on and there's a miss. Stephen Presley. Played down there, there's a great chance for Aberdeen as that was hooked away. Gary Dempsey coming in on that. And Kalkas. Well, he meant it for his partner, Bednar, again. And there, Hartley coming through on it. That's Smith again. Is he going for it? Free kick, yeah, brought down. Nicholson has trotted back, leaving this to Dempsey. It's a decent one. Very good ball indeed. Scatchel, again very cool in midfield. Scatchel trying to go after it. Clark is there. Scatchel brushes him aside again. Just beyond Jankowskis. Aberdeen finding it very difficult to pin down the likes of uh, Scatchel and Hartley. Great play by Scatchel again. Well, there's a great show, it's up the post. Jamie McAllister finished there by Jankokas. Tremendous play by Hart. That's where this defence has looked very ragged at the moment. Oh, what a brilliant goal! Past Michel. Virtually out of nothing. Again, it's a ball that should have been cleared, but if you give a skilled player like that an opportunity, 
then he'll kill you off. And that's exactly what he did. Easily mopped up by the Hart's defense. That almost paid off. It's onside. Hartley going in. There's two men there. He's going to try it himself. He should have let it off. Jankoskis. Incandescent with rage there. No strength in that shot. Pieces coming through on it. And the final whistle goes. There we are. Well, the two valuable summer signings by George Bully have paid off. That opening goal by Rudy Scatchel. And then a bolt out of the blue, as it were, by Pospiso. And so Hart deserving of the victory. Final score, Hart's two, Aberdeen nil. Well, Archie's here in the studio. Archie, I think it's fair to say we're becoming increasingly impressed by Hearts. Well, up till now, it was the truth universally acknowledged, as somebody once said, that Hearts could only finish third, they could only prop up the old firm, and now look what's happening. A fellow broadcaster of uh, more tender years asked me after the game, uh, having seen some of the Hearts teams in the past, how I compared this team to them, and the one that came to him in was steel. They're hard from back, through the middle, right up front. Now, if you've got two big men, six feet three and six feet four, why not play long balls to them? It's a perfectly legitimate tactic. Not to do so would be like a man with a super deluxe car not using his fifth gear. I mean, it's economical to do that. Now, what is happening is the two big men are getting the best out of Paul Hartley mm -hmm. and Scatchell. I mean, they're the scavengers at the back there picking up when they break up the defences and they're the scoring goals and playing attractively. Now, the last time, uh, last year, Jim, when we were complimenting, rightly, Hibs for the most attractive football we've seen in years, at the same time, at the back of it, you never felt there were really winners that were going on to win something. This Hearts team is built for the marathon. They're going to hang in and stay there. Yeah, they play long balls occasionally, but okay, they, they, have some, things, they have some yes. flair players on their team and none more so than Rudy Scatchell, who the fans have really taken to. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, what it, he's a thinking player. Um, he's a player that always runs into the right position at the right time, apparently. And look at the poise there. He's a midfield player with a touch. You, you saw Lovenkrantz finishing our attempts at finishing for Rangers. He had that little poise that wasn't there with the Rangers player. And he's always up there, as I said, he feeds off the big men inside the penalty area and uh, always up there for a, a chance. But beside him, Paul Hartley is absolutely superb in my view. But I, I think one of the reasons, Jim, that Hartley is playing so well, if you don't mind me mentioning Hartley at the moment, the homebred Scott, is because he's playing with better players. Mm. He's certainly playing with better players and they're certainly coming along. But Archie, do we believe Hearts are in here for the long haul? Well, remember the last time they had a long run when they lost the league in the last day of the season. I remember doing the commentary up at Dens when they lost to, to yeah. Dundee up there. Every week from, I think, about February onwards, people say they'll collapse mm. or they're going down. And this was annoying the, the Hearts people. And I think it'll annoy them even now because you say they'll collapse. I think they're in for a long run. I'm certainly not saying they're going to no, no. Let's go to <laughs> Interesting, Andy, um, for all that we praised Aberdeen last week, they're way behind Hearts in the league. Yeah, they are, and they're still searching for that consistency. And they don't have the talent that uh, Hearts have got. And uh, I would only echo what uh, Archie's saying, because when you look at the players that Hearts have, I think it's encouraging for them that Jan Kouskis hasn't even scored yet. He's a big guy who's leading the line well. He hasn't chipped in with any goals. And that's definitely something that Aberdeen need to get, week in, week out, a spread of goal scorers that Hearts have got. Yeah, Steve Lovell will score goals, Jerry, and Darren Mackey when he comes back. They, they had a chance to sign Chris Boyd, couldn't afford him. We hear tonight the Kilmarnock striker is off to Cardiff City, but they do need another striker in Aberdeen. Absolutely, but you know, I would say let's, uh, let's enjoy the moment and be positive about Hearts. I watched extensive highlights of them over the, the, the weekend, and I was impressed by the number of chances they made. And I, I like the balance of Scots and foreigners. And the foreigners that have come in, apart from that steel we've all been talking about, they've got good technique, they've got an excellent manager. There's no doubt about that. And uh, 
I think there'll be a big danger in the cup competitions, and I hope they can keep going. I'm a Hearts fan this season. <laughs> Archie, you mentioned. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Archie, you mentioned the steel in this team, and none more so than in this back four. They're so tight, aren't they? Well, the Scottish international defenders, they've been playing for years together. Uh, remember the little rumour about um, uh, Webster maybe going to Rangers, wouldn't go to Dublin, so George has said, well, OK, don't go to Dublin then, we'll go without you. And I think you got a, a little uh, fright there. Uh, yes, they're solid. Um, the very fact that uh, there is a mix that Jerry was talking about is good because I'm not against foreign element. It's just the, the proportion of them and being able to give young players uh, their edge. Aberdeen, by the way, uh, played some very good football, over-elaborate at times in my view, uh, like that one there. Uh, Dempsey just tackled a wonderful tackle by Webster. Um, and yes, I, I think Aberdeen are going to go up the league. Once Mackey comes back and they get Hart back, I think they'll, they'll improve. Andy, you upset Hibs last year. Are you going to upset Hearts? Can they go all the way? I don't think they can go all the way, but I welcome the fact that they're such a, a strong squad. I hope they can keep it 